Hello, and welcome back to the Pixel Party. Um, as I have been told to say. Now, while I do this, I, I'll just explain. Uh, this is Spelunky. Uh, I've also been told to, over the course of a month, to do two sittings of Minecraft, one sitting of Spelunky, and one sitting of Don't Starve. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the best damsel, which is a sloth. So, I've just been told, because there's many different things you can do in this game, to just do a normal hell run. Not the eggplant, because I believe there is only two people that have ever done the eggplant solo. So, you know, there we go. Not my guy, put it on standard because it's better. But if you don't know what Spelunky is, because I know a lot of people don't, oh, I'll do the daily challenge, why not? But if you don't know what Spelunky is, it's a, uh, it's a rogue-type game, kind of. it's got permadeath in it, and, uh, oh, so much set that off, um, and it's randomly generated, so think about how Minecraft randomly generates its world. Well, this is a platformer that does it. Hello, Sloth, I'm not going to get you. Uh, I found out all my Spelunky tricks and that. Uh, like you're doing now on YouTube and that. So, you know, hopefully this may convince you to buy the game. This is the PS4 version, obviously. Um, come here, there we go. But uh, the daily challenge, if you don't know, is the exact same uh, generation for everybody. So, and it's just to see who gets like the best score and everything, and who gets the furthest. And on the PS4 version, you can now watch. Uh, you can watch people. Oh, no, oh, fucking. See, and that's why I don't get very far in the leaderboards, because I do something stupid like that. And I came 706th out of today. But anyway, on with the normal adventure. Right, who should we be? Turban guy. I kind of like the blue man. The blue man's pretty good. So yeah. It's a Minecraft thing with generations. Uh, over here, that's the tutorial, but over here is all the shortcuts and the tunnel man. The shortcuts take you somewhere, but you can't, it's best to do it from the start. If you wanted to uh, defeat the original final boss, which is a giant golden head, uh, that's how many people try to do it. But you don't get the trophy for it or anything because uh, the shortcuts disable both the trophy and the leaderboard. So, yeah. What what the shortcuts are really for is just to familiarise yourself with that area. I spent a lot of time both in the temple and the ice caves. The jungle, not so much. I kind of got the jungle straight away. That was pretty easy. But yeah... The sloth and that, that's a damsel, and if you go to him, you get a kiss off them, and, uh, see, now I have five life. Uh, shopkeepers, you can buy stuff off them, or you can do this tactic, I can't remember where I found this from, but you just put them close to the edge, boom, there we go, and now I can steal all of their stuff. Uh, those shots you can hear are most likely that vault that we came across that was up there uh, because he's also a shopkeeper. Now, well, there goes the life I got off the damsel. Speaking of which, where is the damsel? I haven't seen him. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun game not for everyone. In 
fact, can, can I show you my skill on this? Uh, no, where's the... Is it the touchpad? No, I can't. Oh, shit. I thought I was still in the menu for some reason. Oh, well, I got some gold out of it. Well, now I only have two bombs. But, yeah. But the goal at the moment is to go to hell. Oh, why well, I shot the damsel. And there's an altar there. I could have sacrificed him. Uh, you sacrifice damsels and stuff and you get rewards. Or you can blow up the altars and get penalties. Such as... The first penalty is... The statue behind the altar explodes and you uh, a bunch of spiders pop out of it and they're like just the little ones so they're not that bad uh, I don't know what the third one is I think the third one is a permanent ghost that's on all the levels that if it touches you no matter how much health you've got even 99 it'll kill you one hit uh, but the second one is a ball and chain that's tied to your feet. Which slows you down. And... I'm going to put that down in a See, the problem with... Uh, the problem with robbing shops is there's always a shopkeeper at the end of each level. Which is annoying, but you know, it gets you gold, which is good for your high school. Up yours. What we've got in here? Spike shoes, they're good for the ice caves. Oh, I thought I saw a jetpack in here. Uh, there we go. Get you. Head. But yeah. Pew. There we go, got him and all. Ah, and there's the key. And that's what you put the key in, that chest. Ah, go up here. There's the shopkeeper. Now he's dead. So if I come up here, grab the key, bring it to the chest, get the Uja eye. So yeah, the Uja eye is fun. Uh, it's in the jungle, it shows you where the black market is. And I believe the jungle's the next level. If I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. So now we're in a different area. And it's a dark level. Dark levels are annoying. It's impossible to get a dark level in the ice caves. Which is... Oh. Well, that's my damsel, but... I can't get him. In fact... Leave my shotgun there a sec. Should I go to the worm? Yeah, I feel like going to the worm's a good idea. Come down a bit. That's not down. So this blob up here is the worm. No! Well, shit. And the damsel died, what a shock. Uh, let me throw that there. You've got to be really careful in dark levels. 